This is the Hype 10 and this is the Hype 4. And today I'll be giving these to regular people in random order to test if they can tell any differences and whether or not they're actually worth the hype. But that's not all since I also have my audiophile buddies with me to see if they'll arrive at a similar conclusion or if there is indeed a noticeable difference. From an average person perspective, yeah, yeah. if I were to have this, I'd yeah. be very happy. It's like an all-rounder. It's got yeah, everything yeah. in there. Like I'm, when I'm listening to jazz, you know, some some uh, jazz. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, very, I feel very happy. I'm oh, like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Is it like very engaging? Is that very why? engaging. It's very smooth. And what do you think of the vocals and like the, the upper mids, the treble, stuff like that? It's there. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 nothing special. Nothing, I don't think so. Do you like the bass? Yeah, it's not, it's, not it's not too empowering. Do you think it's enough bass or too much bass? I think it's enough. Enough bass? Mm. Good all around. Cool. Very happy. Plus, it's very sexy. <laughs> yeah, the plating is really nice. Very sexy. How much do you think it is? I think 250. Okay, what did you think of the high 10? A lot of bass. <laughs> do you think the bass is like well controlled or is it like... I think it's a bit too, it's a bit too boomy. Somewhere in there, I just don't feel like... This doesn't sound very cohesive for some reason. I think it's somewhere the treble. Peak in the treble or... I think it, like... it might be a peak, yeah. Certain tones were louder than others and yeah. it just felt... It feels a bit off. Like, okay, what do you think of like the like the mm -hmm. sound stage, the detail and stuff like that? Nothing so clear. No, no. Nope. About those, yeah. I think the Helios will beat it in terms of sound stage. Sound stage, okay, yeah. I also feel like the Helios has much better slam. Oh, okay. Like, this is boomy. Yeah. But that will like the Helios will, will transition from like loud to, uh, quite loud. Yeah. Much better than this. Oh, like the contrast is. Yeah, better. the contrast. Right. Is Otherwise, I don't think it's it's good, but I don't think it's anything super. Exciting. Very it's like, an all rounder. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> how much how much do you think it is? Seven hundred. Bigger number, but more practical. <laughs> hype two, what do you think of the hype twos? It's like sounds like Parman's cooler brother. It's not like spicy in that it's like hurting me. Yeah. I'm pretty sensitive to the upper mids. I can like really crank the volume on these and they don't they don't kinda of kill oh, the ears. Okay. The bass is not it's not like a super sub bassy emphasis. I get more of like a mid bass. It's right, like right, the male right. vocals sound very full with these. I think it is a good all around. Two fifty. Max, what did you have the Monarchs again. What, what's your uh, second listening to it? Because you heard it uh, oh, yeah. previously, right? I think it's a little bit more bassy than I thought and I remember last time. I don't know, but, but it's still good though. The bass, the bass is still like, yeah. still like punchy. It's not like uh, muffled or anything. It doesn't hurt my ears, the female vocals, especially the height. It doesn't hurt my ears. It's gotta be the cable. <laughs> it's the cable, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's too much bass, too little bass, enough bass? A little bit too much. A little um, bit too much bass. No, okay. I still like it though. Yeah. Quite natural, I think. I feel like, quite, yeah. quite natural? Yeah, quite natural. Do you know like what we mean by imaging when I say like imaging? No. Okay, never mind then. It's all good. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Monarch MK3. All right, what do you think? I cannot tell a difference. I think the one just now sounds a little better. I think this one has more bass. More bass than high force. I think. But it feels like the one just now was a little bit more pop, more clear. It feels like this is more expensive. <laughs> it's more heavy. I think it's heavier. 200. 300? 300. Would you buy it if this was $1,000? No. Oh. <laughs> it's just $1,000? Yeah, Hype Force. What do you think? Less bass than the Hype 10, which I like. Something about the mid-range seemed more natural to me. I think they do the mid-range better. The bass isn't drowning out the mid-range. I think I would like this better than the 10s. It's yeah. just smoother overall, yeah. So I'm not onto nothing. I think it's a $500. I can't tell the difference between this and the one that this is, hype, two? This is a hype two, yeah. Very close. Very close. Very so close. close. You ask me a difference, like, I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. Like. <laughs> Maybe that's like touch, touch more like punchier. Punchier, okay. Yeah. But other than that, if you tell me that this is the Morak, I bet yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right. I'm gonna give it around the same price as the Monarchs, like okay. around, like 900 ish. Dan, what do you think? The high tens compared to your Monarchs? Underwhelming. 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 Yeah, a underwhelming. They kind of sound like the Monarch Mark Threes if they're a little neutered. It's missing like a lot of the sparkle that yeah. I get in like the yeah, upper yeah, mid range yeah. yes. the Monarchs. Yes. Yeah. The bass is definitely stronger. And I don't know if I like that though, because it definitely mm. bleeds into the lower mid. A little bit. Okay, so you would pick the Monarchs over this for hundred dollars more. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Eight hundred ninety nine dollars. Max said yeah. that he couldn't tell the difference between the hype twos and the mark threes. Interesting. So interesting. Well, they're close. They're they're close. Right? They're close. It's, except for I think if you don't know what to look for in the upper in the upper mid range or yeah. like the treble, and if you, if you don't listen to enough songs, you get that like crisp, like air. I mean, the bass is certainly comparable in terms of like the texture, <laughs> um, but I don't I don't think they're identical. 
this guy he doesn't wait. <laughs> okay, so very interesting or maybe even you know expected results. As non audiophiles, Max and Leffen both couldn't really tell the difference between the more expensive IEM versus their cheaper counterparts. Sam made a very good point. It's very hard to notice any changes unless you know what you're looking for because you know the actual tuning of the hype series are pretty similar. The hype 2, for example, follows a clean sound like the Mark 3s, but if you're not looking for the air in these simple crashes or you know the end transients of the vocals, then both might just sound very close. Hang and Sam were able to pick out the small tuning changes because you know they're more familiar with sound in general and as a whole, and just like more familiar with IEMs in general, and pretty confidently group the tens as an all-rounder and even preferred the fours over the tens. Think of the hype two versus the four and the tens. Yeah, I think I can tell the difference. This one's the okay. worst one. Everything sounds not as high quality. High quality? Didn't sound crisp. I don't like the bass no. either. Is it, I think that volume wise, there's enough. It's yeah. just it's just the resolution feels like it's a muddy, a little yeah, bit muddy. muddy. This one's about 50 bucks. <laughs> 50 bucks. <laughs> uh, it's probably 150. So out of the three, which one do you like the best? Hype 4. Hype 4 is still Hype 4. It feels like I was there. It feels like, <laughs> ah, it's, yeah, I'm missing from, yeah. What do you think of the Mark 3's hands? Very good. Very good. Very good. I think the word they use in the industry is trailing ends of tones. <laughs> yeah. It's better yeah, on this. Transients. Bass is better controlled. Like the mm. bass feels a lot faster on this. Less bass than the Hype 4's and Hype 10's or more bass? Less. Less bass. But better controlled, so yeah. I'm actually enjoying it more. Do you know the price of this already? I think it's one grand. Oh, okay, yeah, you yeah. know the price. <laughs> <laughs> One grand. One grand. Uh, this is 250. What do you think of the hype tens? I think this one, the moment I uh, listened to it, I thought it had like a lot more sub bass than that one. I think also in terms of clarity, vocals, this one's less detailed, a little bit for me as well. But besides that, the bass is pretty comparable. Pretty comparable. I still like the Modox the most though for bass. Yeah. Vocals, uh, yeah. less clear. Less clear. But then Soundstage, all three of them, I couldn't pretty tell. Same, pretty similar, yeah. very similar. Yeah. Sam, what do you think of the hype fours? Uh, I like them more than the 10s. It feels like the base shelf for these is kind of pushed a little bit to the left. So like you don't get that bleed into the mids oh, okay. as much. They seem like I think a bit more versatile than the 10s. And they seem also a little bit more um, like resolving than the 2s. More bass than the Monarch. Pretty similar. Pretty honestly. similar? I didn't notice the 2s. Mm. Yeah. I think it's not not as textured, but maybe yeah. a bit more like thumpy mid -base. Thumpy, okay, okay. Yeah, high end of 3, maybe low mm. end of 4. But before we move on, this video is sponsored by you guys. You guys know the drill. I buy most of my stuff to try and stay unbiased as much as possible. But again, I don't have the most money in the world. So I do need support from you guys. And if you found my videos, guides, replies, comments to be helpful, then feel free to join my channel memberships. It's only 5 bucks a month, and I do regular giveaways there but back to the video what do you think of the hype twos i feel like the bass shelf yeah. starts at lower frequency there's less mid bass here but sub bass is still good okay. but i think i would prefer more mid bass a bit too a thin bit too yes thin. yeah okay. there's a bit too much trouble for me yeah. i'm listening to taylor swift and it's female vocals yeah, yeah so i think it's just it's a bit much i think four is still the best still the best okay this would be almost as good as before i would say if not for the fact that it trebles a bit much for me the bass part is i can live with it but i yeah. think it's just a bit the trebles sharp, a bit too sharp. sharp for me yeah bass texture they're all rather similar it makes sense for the bass because they use the same like technology the okay. isobaric bass okay so yeah okay. checks out i think the four actually has better detail retrieval at least more apparent hmm. detail okay retrieval. then the two then yeah or then all of them or just the two then the two and the ten but monarch is oh, better than four. okay interesting interesting yeah so monarch's right. the best and then Fours, yeah, and then ten, and then two, or in the two and ten. Two and ten. Oh, ten yeah. is last. Ten is last. All right, your babies, the modern Mark threes. These ones make me happy. Okay, all right, that's, that's what I need to say. Like, I fucking, I put these ones in, and I'm like, that yeah. sounds. That awesome. sounds like home. I guess like, sounds really good. It, I think it's just it has to do with like the upper. The I upper burned it in for you. Don't worry. Yeah, you burned them into the cables. Burned in now too. Yeah. I don't think they're even comparable to the tens. Not not just like price or performance. Yeah. It's just it's very different sound signature way, way, cleaner. way cleaner way 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 cleaner, way cleaner. Uh, but you still get the bass and yeah. it's and you still get the mids like I, I don't feel like i'm missing out on anything bro you actually lucked out so I hard on this out. unit because <laughs> <laughs> this one usually it has a lot more bass like the original tuning has a lot more bass but the unit that i got has like less bass 
yeah. but it still uses the same basic technology. Yes. So you get all the good stuff, but it's cleaner. Yeah. It's so awesome. it's great. Yeah. What did you have? I it's forgot. Hype ten. Hype tens. Oh, oh, wow. Do you like it more than high fours or? Dude, it's like comparable. Like probably I like the most is like the what is it called? Solid stage. It's like boom. <laughs> <laughs> boom. What about the bass? Is this similar to the high fours or? It feels like it's just lesser. How much do you think this one is hype ten? Oh, this is five hundred. Hype four. Hype four. What do you think of hype four? I thought this one has ones? less sub bass than that one. Than the hype tens? Yeah, and it felt everything felt more neutral, like just more balanced. I like the sound oh, of this. Okay. I think I like this a little bit more than more, like actually. One has like more upper mids, less less bright, more bright, cleaner. Uh, no Very difference. No difference for me. This and Mora could probably tie. Okay. But I'll do this uh, first place. Okay. Mora second place. Okay. Uh, and then Mark two third place. Mark two. No, yeah, hype two. two, hype two, two sorry. Okay. And then the yeah. hype tens last. Monarch Mark three for first. Yep. And then I'd put. Probably the four for second. Okay. Uh, and then the ten for third, and then the two for last. We should win. Same opinion. Thank God. I was like, thank God, I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> two people have hype tens last. Oh, Hang has hype ten last. Nice. Max has oh. hype ten last. And then uh, <laughs> do you have hype ten first? What the hell? <laughs> interesting, very interesting results. So it looks like Max and Leffen could tell a difference between the Hype series, but not against the Monarch. Both Hang and Sam put the Monarchs as their favorite and the 10s near the end, and both recommended paying $100 more for the Mark 3s. Now, I'm not sure what to make of this since Leffen can notice a change when it was, you know, the Hype 10 versus the Hype 2, but he couldn't the Hype 4s and above, whereas Max could tell the difference between the more expensive Hype series, except for the 2s, and the Mark III's, which do have a very similar sound to be fair. So the most like realistic conclusion I could arrive at is that they were probably guessing, you know, which makes sense because they're both not audio files, right? So that's why the confidence rating isn't very high, but there could also be a tip issue potentially because they didn't change the tips. They used the same tips and didn't really tip roll for every set like I did. But all in all, everyone really liked the fours, whereas <laughs> there were mixed feelings when it came to the tens and, you know, not being special enough for its price, but Let's see which one they actually recommend. High four is the most worth it for you. Five hundred. High four is four hundred. Yeah. Most worth it for I you. Think it's more, most worth it. Do you think the difference is really big between that and the other ones? No, but, not enough to justify no. an extra five hundred. For for me, it'd be high two then, since oh, I can tell okay. the difference between that and a one thousand dollar. Oh. Mark. <laughs> oh so, shit. So okay. For me, it'll be high two. Uh, best price performance. Yeah. Oh, well, just the mission returns. Which one would you recommend? The four. Which one's worth it? The yeah, four. four. I'd it? say the four. Okay. Most worth it, and which one four. is not worth? Four is more worth it. Yeah. How how big the difference do you think the four is to the monarchs, like percentage wise, like technicalities and stuff like that? Twenty percent. Since the hype tin is eight ninety nine, and mm -hmm. the monarchs are nine ninety nine. Yeah. Would you say it's worth it to, to you know, pay $100 more to get the Mark 3s? Oh, 99. 100 times 100. 100. Okay. It looks like the 4s indeed do live up to the height. And I guess it would be the best pick for most people. And if you wanted to spend even more, then the Mark 3s would be the better bet over the Hype 10s. But what's even more interesting to me is that this time around, Max couldn't tell much of a difference between the Hype 2s and the Mark 3s, whereas in the first comparison, he could. I'm not sure why. It could, again, be a tip thing because they use the same tip, didn't tip roll. Or, you know, as non-audiophiles, you don't really know what you're listening for. Or maybe it's because the storm ruined his ears since Leffen didn't hear the storm and, you know, his opinions didn't really change. He still said the Hype 4s were the, the Hype 2s were the worst and he recommended the Hype 4s. But, there you have it. Thank you again to Max, Leffen, Sam, and Hang for volunteering their ears. And I guess there is indeed a small difference between the Hype series, but it's probably not worth getting all of them, just pick one, get the 4s, or skip all of them and go for the Mark 3s. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed the comparison. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see everyone in the next one. Shout out to Jeff Young, Rorax Cat, Dom Q, Gadamino Baldo, Star Buccaneers, Joel Pink, Wipe Your Buttocks, The Skull Status, B underscore Urak, Mystic Spoon Attack, Cyborg, Oh Really, Walker Standard, User underscore YT underscore 158, Ernest, Contain Guava Juice Gains, Patrick, Bell Cell, Kel, Rosa the Cath, Parijat, Polly, Mr. Gorillas, Anto, and Gis Seung Yeon. I'm sorry if I butchered any of your names, but thank you guys so much for the support. And I'll see everyone in the next one.